M0 FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Bofeng UV32. I'm going to show you my open spot setup. So if I turn it up now. Okay, uh, it's a good report to speak which you are talking. Just tell him. Your up. flag is important for my collection in the country. My work is going to show. Uh, Retevis. Retevis. So it's. Uh... It's working fine. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you the settings in my re in my code plug my software. I'll link in a video of how you can add things using the radio. Um, but with DMR, there's no easy with DMR. You have to learn and that takes hard work. So the first thing you're going to do is create a channel. So in your software, you're going to go up to the top here, double click where it says channel. All your channels are going to be listed. Uh, so what I do is you just go to the bottom and click add here and it would add a new line or you can click an existing line. So if I show you the one here I've got for talk group 91 and you really you need to add a new channel, uh, a new talk group connection for, for each talk group you want to connect to. You can use talk group 9 and I find that will work with the open spot but then you have to use the open spot dashboard to change. If you want to use the radio, you've got to do it this way. So double click the channel and you get this window appear. First thing is give it a name. And so I've called it open spot and I've written 91 because I want it to connect to talk group 91. And you will have to create that talk group stroke. They call it, they actually call it frequent contact here. Normally it's just called digital contacts, but they call it frequent contact. But anyway, put your channel in and in your, you know, put the channel in that you're using on your open spot. So it's simplex, which means there's no plus and minus shift. 433 900 is what I use. And then select digital, channel type digital. Okay. Then I didn't, I haven't touched anything else here. On the right hand side, uh, I've selected color code one for my hotspot. Now your repeater, if you use a repeater, it's going to be different. Um, but then I put slot two. It doesn't really matter with an open spot. One slot one or slot two. It basically uses half the channel. The important one though, because you're not going to receive anything if you don't choose a contact. It says here TX contact. So when you transmit, um, it will connect you to that talk group room and you'll be here in that room. When you choose nine, which is called local. That's not a room, that is more of a connection between your radio and the hotspot. And then use the hotspot to control everything. So look, uh, we've selected worldwide. So how do we even get to worldwide? Let's close this window. On the left, frequency contacts. And these are all talk groups. They call, it's confusing, they call them contacts, but they are talk groups, yeah? And they are all group calls, because they're rooms. So you need to just choose the one you're gonna use, or add one. So if I wanna add one here, click add, you get a blank one that'll show up. See, it says here, it says contacts, that's the blank one. And the important one is the number. So I'll just choose a number at random, 99, hopefully it hasn't already got it in there. And then the name, I just call it, the name, I will actually type 9 T9. Okay. And we've created it. Now, private is something we don't use very often, but we can use it for things like disconnect for commands, or we can do it if we want to contact one of our friends directly where no one else can hear us. So we won't be in a group call. We'll just be private one to one. But we're doing group call here for 9 to 9. Click OK. So that's how you add them. So then what happens once you've added them and you go in back into your channel, yeah, here, they will appear where you can select them. So there'll be one there somewhere called 99. There it is there. But I'm not going to use that because I want to connect to talk group 91. But you can put in what you like. 23526 for Hubnet, 2350 for chat one, 2351 for, for CQ UK. You decide. But always make sure that when you put the name in, you tell yourself where. So once you've done that, you've got one last thing to do. Close that down. You need to put it into a zone, otherwise you're not going to find it. Because when you go into your radio, you select a zone, and within that zone, it's a group of channels, you find the channel you're looking for. And you can name your zone. So you could call this one Open Spot. You could call another one 
my PyStar hotspot, and you could call another one, say, my repeaters hotspot, my PMR, my airband, and so on. You, it's groups of channels to make it a lot easier for you to find your channel in, in a radio that holds thousands of channels. So when you click uh, zone just here, you can add zones and rename them here. So if we wanted to add one now, you click add. And I could call what this double click where it says zone, I could change the name to air. And then it always, it always, whatever happens, it will always put a channel in there, even if it's one you don't use. Click OK, just so it can create it. So now when you double click that, you can add all your airband channels in. I don't know if I've got many, but not seeing any there, actually. Um, and then when you go to that zone called air, you'll find airband. But we don't want that on the radio. We want to, uh, you know, we want it in our open spot. So we click open spot here. And I've only added two channels. See the one at the top? Is, I'm not going to use that one because I'm, uh, or I could create an open spot hub net. So should I do that just to show you? So I'll take that one out by clicking the left arrow. You put them in. These are This is every single channel on your radio. So if I want to create one for hub net, which is 23526, uh, the first thing I want to do is go to the frequent contacts and just make sure I haven't already put it in there. There it is there, Hubnet 23526, so I have. Go back to channel. Underneath here, I'm just going to use one of the PMR ones. I'm going to double click it, change the name to Open Spot Hubnet, so I can find it. It's the same frequency because we're using the Open Spot. On, you only use that on one, the Open Spot will only ever be on one frequency, but you choose that frequency. And then we have to choose digital. And then now on the right, we get the option now with the contact, the TX contact to choose Hubnet. So it's all alphabetical if I remember right. There it is there, I see it, Hubnet. And then I'm still going to do color code one and slot two. If I put it on slot one, it means I can actually listen to two at the same time um, because DMR does that. That's That's why it's so popular. And that's it. you do need your DMR ID in your radio, of course, otherwise no one's going to hear you. Uh, if we go up to, you've got loads of settings here. Uh, channel, roaming, DMR. DMR ID, there it is there. So under digit on the left, make sure you've got your DMR ID and you do have to register. So once you've done that and you've, made, you know, you've connected to your radio, you need to select the COM port of the cable that's connected to your radio mine's com3 you find it by right clicking sorry on the windows squares go device manager and go scroll down to you see ports and that's your cable plugged in it's just a bofun cable com3 we can actually write that to the radio so we just go write data and it's going to write what we just did to the radio click ok and it will write. I just need to plug my cable in. Right, that goes in. So now over to the radio. So to find your zone, you'd have to go menu, go down to zone, and then find the zone called open spot. Got one there. And then channel list. There you are. Oh, I don't want to delete it. Back, back, back. So you select your channel and then now using the radio, when you key the mic, it will actually connect. And you saw my dashboard there with my with me keying. Now, the other thing you can do is you can go quick setup down here. Then choose DMR. Brown Meister. And then put your, make sure your DMR ID is in there. You do need a server password for this. We're using United Kingdom here, but there's loads of servers around the world. These are the where the talk groups are kept, basically, and where you're linked to the talk groups by another computer. And then you can choose, you know, I've chose 91, because that's the channel I created. But you can choose what you like. And then you hit connect. And it will connect. Now, if you just show you the Brandmeister thing. So a lot of servers have passwords. So once you're logged in to say Brandmeister and you go to your profile 
and to go to self-care. Here you can set a password and that does need to go in your hotspot, otherwise it's not going to work basically. So give it a go. I mean, all I can say with DMR, no one's going to do it for you. You're going to have to learn it yourself. It takes several hours and even when you've learned it, you forget and it takes more hours to remember. That's why once you've really got it programmed, how you like it, then you just tend to leave it alone. But you might want to add the odd channel. Um, and so give it a go. And uh, please, you know, you've got to watch videos. You've got to teach yourself. You can't. There's loads of YouTubers out there, including me, but we spend hundreds of hours making videos so you can do this. We can't help you personally one to one. We can't do that. We just haven't got time to do it. Bye for now.